You guys remember back in the day when the phone was on the wall and you could only go so far? You had that scrunchie cord, right? And it gave you a connection, right? But it also set a boundary for you. Well, that feeling of being tethered, of only being able to go so far, is still very much a daily reality for millions of electric wheelchair users today. And this is my reality. But before we go further, you need to understand something. This isn't just a wheelchair. This is my personal electric vehicle, my PEV. And you see, the problem for me and millions like me is something called low battery anxiety. There are no charging stations for us. A dead battery means being stranded. And that fear, it shrinks our world. It defines every decision. It affects our mental health. It leads to isolation and frustration because when your world shrinks to a five mile radius, true life just stops. If cars, e-bikes, and scooters have charging stations, why are PEVs left behind? Let me bring it home for you. Friend called the other day, you want to meet up? Yeah. But then the mental calculations kicked in. Do I have enough charge to get there and back? What if it's uphill? What if I get stranded? These questions, they race through my mind every single time so that yes, it dies on my lips. And eventually, my friends stop asking. Getting stranded is a real fear. It happened to me. I was driving home from work. My battery was blinking. My chair slowed, then stopped. Late, cold, alone, and vulnerable. There is no AAA service for wheelchair users. Hours later, I finally got help, but the question had already formed on my mind. Why aren't there charging stations for PEVs? Some of you might be thinking, why not just carry a charger? Well, you see, it's not that simple. Chargers are big and bulky, and for a lot of us, the capacity to carry anything extra is limited to a backpack. For 32 years, this blinking red light has dictated my life. Not because I don't want to go. I want to go everywhere. But the fear, the mental load, the risk, it's exhausting. So I stay put. And the cost for millions? Our freedom, our independence, access to jobs, education, and connection. This chair is not my limitation. It is my purpose. As a micromobility advocate with 32 years of lived experience, I fight for inclusive design. And not just for me. We're facing a silver tsunami. By the year 2030, 20% 20 of the U.S. will be 65 plus, and many of you will need PEVs. We must build infrastructure now, not later. Yes, San Diego County, where I live, has some transportation services, but not on demand, and zero PEV charging stations. In fact, they're virtually non-existent nationwide. But imagine a different city. Charging stations at transit hubs, parks, community centers, powered by clean, renewable energy. AAA service just for PEVs. Not just plugs. Smart, accessible, connected networks. Picture this. I open an app. I see every nearby PEV charging station. No guessing, no fear. My chair, it tells me the battery percentage, just like a car. 
That's not fantasy, that's now. PEVs are ready for this tech. Smart sensors, battery monitoring, Bluetooth capability, that's already here. Cities just need to catch up. There are some cities that are showing what's possible. Bellevue, Washington has integrated uh, PEV charging stations into their urban planning. Oswego, uh, New York has integrated pilot programs demonstrating the need for this type of infrastructure. But we need scale, citywide, equitable, intelligent networks. San Diego County has a master mobility plans. But plans, they don't build themselves. They need our voices, advocacy, and action. Look, I'm not asking for more than anybody else. I just want the same shot to show up, to move, to live without limits. And one day I will with the right infrastructure because nobody should have to plan their life around a wall outlet. Instead, Let's spark a shift and truly power the future of accessible mobility by building well-able platforms for all. Thank you.